The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. Look at this place. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Just kidding. This is where I want to build a facility. One gorgeous park. Hello, my name is Senior Park Manager Brian Everts at Upper Tampa Bay Park. Uh, I'm here with Mr. Jack Berlin, who is very passionate about the uh, Diamondback Terrapins. Uh, he actually established this exhibit here at Upper Tampa Bay Park. We're on a 596 acre um, park here. We're a peninsula. Um, the uppermost part of the bay, this is where the park is located, of Old Tampa Bay. So if you look behind me here, Mr. Berlin, um, about seven years ago, we established this terrap terrapin exhibit, and we want to pretty much get the word out about these guys because they do live in saltwater habitat, estuaries. Um, so we're going to establish uh, a nice little, you know, habitat for uh, these these uh, diamondback terrapins so, uh, with donated money, you know, selling shirts and uh, getting the word out to the public, and uh, having customers come out to be a part of that is a big thing. So it's all going to be fundraiser money. And we're very grateful for that, you know, with Hillsborough County. So, Mr. Berlin, he gets all the credit for this, and um, we're very happy to have you. Thank you. So, it's going to be a great addition. It's going to be a part. It's going to be excellent. This is what I want to build here. Mm. So, if you look at that glass window, that is this glass window. Mm. The biggest problem we have is raccoons. So that's the most expensive piece. The pond will go right down here next to the concrete footer here. And then we're going to basically build out from the corners here to the point, and we're just going to mesh it. We're going to put a uh, sort of a, a mesh fence material to keep the raccoons out. So, and then we'll just put some sand in here. We'll raise the elevation just a little bit because that's tidal. If you look underneath the pier, that actually, the tide will come up that far. So what we're going to do is raise the elevation a little bit, get some sand banks and rock, places for them to sun, places for them to nest, places for them to brunate. So, um, and the hope would be that we would probably start with three mature females and one mature male, and then let them do their magic. Mm -hmm. And every, bring them in after they're hatched, keep them in the aquariums for six, seven months, release them in the spring, so they have a little head started. Get a bunch of kids out here, Give them some terrapins and let them go. So. We've got 360 degree access to the exhibit. This is a live mangrove. Um, so other than just maybe changing the, the uh, plants in here a little bit, all we're going to do is just mesh cover that area so that the terrapin exhibit will be exposed from you know, almost all four sides. The pond will be in here, we'll have a little nesting area in there. Um, I'm not exactly sure, I probably will sand bank farther up so if we have a real high tide we won't have egg, eggs getting uh, saturated by the water. The administrative stuff to get people to approve things to build it apart, you know, they have to worry about liability, they have to worry about maintenance, they have to worry about being able to take care of it. So that took some, some time. The other thing is the funding. It's going to cost about $12,000 to build that exhibit. Most of that's in that fencing for that. It's really expensive to buy that, that, that mesh. That's what they use at the zoo. Uh, we got it from a zoo guy at Larry Park Zoo. Gave us this mesh, but it's really expensive. But the rest of it's fairly cheap. And the nice thing, if we build it the correct way with that mead filter and a bottom drain and everything sort of self takes care of itself, it's less than $1,000 a year to make to feed and clean that, that, that pond. And that's what I've got to do because they're more worried about if it was $10,000 a year to run this facility, they wouldn't be able to do it. They don't, you're not going to get extra staff. You're not going to get that kind of extra money. So the whole point of this is to build it in such a way that it's very low maintenance, that the terrapins are pretty much, you get some food in there and you take, keep the water clean and everything else is, just sort of takes care of itself. So. But it's taken a long time. I've been working on this seven and a half years, and I'm hoping it won't take another seven and a half to get it built. So hopefully we'll break ground this year. That's my hope. 
And what do you need to make it happen? I need to raise about another three to five thousand dollars. Isn't that a perfect place? Yeah. It's a gorgeous park in there. It would be a low maintenance facility. We have lots of, of um, you know, we have lots of field trips out yep. here with yep. with students already. We can get hopefully we'll get researchers to come out here and other terrapin people to lead, you know, exhibits yep. and talk about yep. what's going on. Awesome. I mean, you could have a group right here and talk, sit here and talk about the, yep. the environment and the terrapins and and the you know all of it. I mean, this is it's a, it's just such a beautiful facility. For more information on this and other exciting Colonian species, visit theturtleroom.com. Check back every Monday night for new videos from The Turtle Room.